They're about ready to qualify two for the Bark in the Park Championship. Everybody's in their spots. Ready, go! Here come the Bulldogs in heat number one, and Tilly takes off like a machine. Tilly messing around on the lead, but definitely qualifying, and Tilly finishes first, beating Moose. Here's number 11, Hazel, looking for a post-race interview. TV monitors, number nine's going where he shouldn't go, and I think he's defecating on our track. <laughs> Holy cow. Winnie never got out of the gate. We had about half the field. They didn't get out of the gate, but look at Tilly. Look at Tilly just messing around on a beautiful Sunday. It finishes 12-8. 12-8. There's Tilly. Dan and Amanda Tubert own Tilly. And Kelly and Raymond Pearson own Moose. They will meet again Labor Day. Bark in the park. We have four more of these beginning after race five. Ready, go! Here come the baby Bulldogs flying down the Canterbury track. Magnolia tried to savage Nathan, and Daisy Lou was overtaken at the end by Phyllis. Phyllis ran down Daisy Lou in a spine tingler. Now Daisy Lou took Nugget's toy and is running away. Now Nugget wants his toy back. Look at Nugget try to get his toy. But Daisy Lou is bred for class and advances to the bark in the park. Let's take a look at the replay. Look at number 12, Nathan, right out of the gate. Immediately tries to savage Magnolia. But Daisy Lou and Phyllis go one, two. Phyllis gets there at the wire. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we congratulate Phyllis and Sherry Gertis and Daisy Lou and Rebecca Clanton. They advance to the Bark in the Park. Race number four, 20 minutes from now. Make your wagers on all Canterbury races as early as possible to avoid the hassles of long lines. Have a great time at Canterbury. Be very patient today with your fellow patron and good luck. Ready, go! Here come the baby bulldogs steaming down the track. And Ozzy came out nicely. Chloe Piper and Ozzy, they're savaging each other. A near dead heat. What a bulldog blast that was. Wow, we had some fighting on the track. Couple of fast bulldogs. That bulldog's handling the basketball like the Milwaukee Bucks last night. John from Spoon Ridge is still building his swing set. Khaleesi came back to life. Take a look at it. Watch 11 attack four. Four attacking 11. Oh, that's super tight. Betsy? Betsy, guess what day it is? All right, moving on to the bark in the park. Ozzy for Chris and Jill Harding, and Chloe Piper for Hector Martinez and Christine Enga. Robert Rodriguez, please report to the petting zoo. Robert Rodriguez to the petting zoo, thank you. All right, heat number four is coming up next. Drew Petsing to the petting zoo to claim your llama. Drew Petsing to the petting zoo, please.
No, you don't really have to come to the petting zoo, boys. Okay, last owner with some aggressive oxygen tank getting in his spot. We might have a bulldog on helium. Ready, go! Here they come. Boogie down, boogie down. There they go. Boogie down, boogie down. And Mick has the lead, overtaken by Darla. But Darla stopped, and Mick surges with Gus. That's Mick and Gus in a bulldog blast. Mick, owned by Nicole and John Havlick, advances. And Gus, owned by Mackenzie Green, advances. All right, ladies and gentlemen, two more bulldog races after race number seven. Race number six on the main track, 23 minutes from now. Have a great time today, everybody. Thank you. Ready, go! Here they come and look at Winston. Holy cow. Benny, oh, Winston stopped. There goes Benny and Gus. Gus Benny, Benny Gus. It finishes 12 11. Wow, number three, Winston popped out of the gate like he was going to set a Bulldog record, and then he stopped. Bubba never came out of the gate, likewise for Roxy. Take a look at that. Look at uh, Winston, then he just stops. Overtaken by Benny and Gus, and they advance. Benny, owned by Caitlin Corpy and Ann Gothard, congratulations. Gus, owned by Claire Norton and Gabe Barrera. See y'all on Labor Day for Bark in the Park. All right, in heat number six, a reminder, Okay, owners are ready. Go! Here they come, and Frank the Tank comes out like a champion. Look at the Tank rumble in one of the most impressive Bulldog performances ever. He is Frank the Tank. Look at this excellence, Frank the Tank winning by 20. Frank the Tank prohibitively favored. Bark in the Park Day, Labor Day. Big screen, ladies and gentlemen. That is one bad bulldog. Frank the Tank owned by Trisha Olson, Labor Day. Number 10, Scrappy, owned by Charlotte Gromersh also advances. <laughs> 